I never thought I'd spend most of my last year of high school at my old school grounds where I made cherished memories and had thoughtful, engaging teachers that left an impact on me as an individual. My name is Halen Patero and I am a senior at Amy Bill High School and now I'm back at Whittier Elementary School for my senior project, working closely with a teacher who I remember fondly from my time there and who is now my mentor and friend. This is the story of my time and experience with the colorful bunch I came to care for and made my senior year a great ending of a new beginning. To start, I want to introduce you to the wonderful person I mentioned earlier. This is Miss Benavides, also known as Miss B or Queen B as the students like to call her. She has been a fifth grade teacher at Whittier Elementary since I was in fifth grade, which was almost eight years ago. She wasn't my fifth grade teacher, but she did leave a deep impression on me that I will admit is the reason why I chose Whittier as my senior project site. During my time with her, I got to see more of her personality and who she was beyond the surface. A person who has struggled but perseveres in anything that comes her way. She has a knack for being very honest and upfront about how she feels and deeply cares for every student and the people in her life. She can also be really funny. When I first arrived at the school, I made sure to visit my fifth grade teacher, Miss Romo, and catch up with her because she's just as important to me. As I was walking the familiar halls and walkways of the school, so much nostalgia hit me. It felt great to be back. What made this school special was the beautiful murals painted and preserved over the decades. Of course, the students are the cherry on top. At the beginning of my senior project, I won't lie, it was hard to find my place in the classroom. I wanted the kids to see me as a role model or someone they could talk to rather than a teacher's aide or some random person in the room with no purpose. That's when Ms. B helped me take action and get myself involved more with the kids. I created two goals, a reading group because I wanted the kids to get better at not only reading but writing as well. The second goal was related to a research project, which I later revamped. Ms. B helped me plan and create the reading group. Though the first sessions were rough, to say the least, the kids were not into it at all. Ms. B took notice and offered advice when it came to working with kids. Kids feed off passion. If you're not passionate about it, they pick up on that energy and will act out the way they do. I understood what I had to do then. Create a lesson plan that gets the kids more creative related to something I was passionate about, which was art. That's how I revamped my second goal and made sure to include the researching and writing skills that I wanted for the reading group, but add art into the mix. Prior to my senior year, I took 14 dual credit classes, and when I was starting my senior project, I had taken an in-person class at CNM called Drawing One. It was a joyful experience and reminded me that art is a huge part of my life, so I had to integrate it somehow with the kids. That's when I had some guidance and a suggestion to use what I know. That led me to adapt what I did in my junior year, a Caligram self-portrait. When we got started, I noticed the change that was happening. The kids were having fun with the project and their personalities were coming through. It brought back memories of my time at Whittier in fifth grade, enjoying life as a child. The kids' calligrams came out great. They put time and effort into their work and it showed. I was really proud of them all. This girl here is Delilah. She showed the most improvement when it came to being herself. When we were doing our book group, she came to me crying, telling me how ashamed she was for not being able to read or spell efficiently, and was terrified of the idea of going to middle school. I felt for her, so I decided to take upon myself to work with her during our reading groups. Over time, she started to become more sure of herself and was excited to read when we came together. When she did her calligram, her personality showed more and it was noticeable how confident she became. So when I asked her if she was ready for middle school, she immediately answered yes, cheerfully. Anyway, are you ready for Yeah. I'm also a little nervous. My time at Whittier taught me so much more than just office skills. I came to understand that being patient is a skill that is learned, especially when these kids could put me through so much sometimes. I realized that being there and engaging with the kids was all that mattered. I hope I impacted these kids like Ms. B did for me. I also got what I wanted from my time at Whittier, my place within their classroom, in addition, a found family.